guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I am Sushi Mushi, and today you're watching another part of critiquing your guys' GFX. On this series, I critique GFX that you submit on my Discord server. Speaking of the Discord server, I updated a ton of stuff today. There's a big promo, and there's a huge giveaway happening right now. You can earn 500 Robux, and all you have to do is be in the group and subscribe to my two channels. It's that simple. Not only that, but I also added a Minecraft category where you can find your stats, different resource packs, people to play with, and more. Now I'm not going to waste any more of your time, let's get straight into the video. First up is this GFX, and I like how it looks, but the text is pretty plain. You can add more effects to it, you can change the font, and you can make it way fancier than how it looks. And after that, the leg in between is like a big hole, so you might want to fix that in the posing next time. The lighting, you could work on that a little more, it could be a little smoother if that makes sense. The render has a giant stroke around it, you might want to make it smaller and less bumpier too. I like how the background looks, I'm glad people are finally using Liquify because I keep on telling people to but they don't take my advice, so that's cool. Next up is this one by Julia, I really love how it looks, I love the lighting and the background effects, everything. All I can really think about is the arms, right over here it looks kind of weird. Other than that, 10 out of 10. Next up is this VFX by Ben, I like the color scheme you're going for, it matches the avatar. All I can really think about is adding more effects to make it pop out more, and the text is kind of plain. The render could have more effects too, and the lighting is kind of very flat and plain. Next up is this GFX by Ivy. I am in love with how the background looks. I love the effects on it and the color scheme. It looks cool. The text, I also like how it looks as well. The only thing about the text I don't like is the bevel. I love the renders. It looks good. I like the posing on it. All I can see is the floating. I know that's like what you're trying to go for, but I just don't like when things float on GFX. It looks kind of odd. Next up is this one by Ben again. So once again, the lighting is pretty boring, not too much going on. The text could have more effects, and you could add more effects on the GFX entirely. More overlays, make it pop out more. On this GFX, the text has a giant stroke, so I'd narrow it down a bit. And then the overlays are covering the render like crazy. So cut down on the overlays, and this shine effect needs to go away because it's covering the whole face. The whole GFX is being covered by one giant overlay, maybe even more than one. So I just make sure you don't do that next time. I love how this GFX looks. I don't know how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, but it looks really cool. I like how the render looks especially. The background doesn't have too much going on, but it's not even in a bad way. It still looks good. You managed to make it pop out without too much going on. Maybe just some changes to the text would be cool. Other than that, good job. Alright, you submitted three GFX. I'm gonna critique two of them, so I'll start with this one. I like the background, but there's something about the render I don't like. I don't know if it's the lighting or the pose but it could use more effects too. The whole GFX entirely could have more effects on it. I can tell you use like 3D text. I don't really like how 3D text looks on GFX. Usually it doesn't match too good. So I changed it to normal text and just add a lot of effects. This one is cool. I like the background, but the render, it's like huge. The arms are kind of huge. Um, I know that's the style they're going for. It just kind of looks odd, but that's your style, it's fine. I'm just not a huge fan on the text. This GFX submitted by Farina. I like the color scheme, but once again, the effects could be more advanced. The render has very flat lighting too. You can tell it's all one same color. The background could have more effects on it too. It looks like you're just putting random stuff on there. I'd work more on it a bit. The background looks messy, so I'd work on making it look cleaner. Maybe move the render up too, make it taller and show more of it instead of just that. Now this GFX is extremely bright. Um, The render is pretty stiff. And like I said before, the, render, the GFX entirely is super bright. It's because you're going for a super light color scheme and you can barely see what the text says. I could, I didn't even notice the whole thousand tar right now. So just work on making it not as bright. On this street effects, the render has basic lighting, work more on it and the pose is kind of stiff. The text has a giant stroke and the color of the text doesn't match the rest of the GFX. The render could have more effects around it. The background color is purple but the text is pink so it doesn't match. Add more overlays maybe. And that's it. I like how the render looks on this GFX. The text on the GFX doesn't match the rest of the graphic because it's more of a lighter color on the GFX background, but on the text it's like a darker green. I feel like there's stuff missing on the GFX, I just don't know what. Next up is this graphic by Azumi. The text kind of looks low quality and you could make a better font and better effects on it. Also the color scheme could match the rest of the GFX because once again it's kind of dark. The render seems a little noisy, if you zoom in you can really see it. You can see how noisy it is. Work on denoising and then also adding better lights on the GFX. The background could have more effects and you could just add more to the GFX entirely. Holy moly, this GFX, wow. There's literally so much, there's so much detail. Like over here, you can see another render. I I'm shocked, it literally looks amazing. I love this GFX, nothing wrong to say about it. Better than me, I love it, good job. 
and I'm like a huge fan of watermelons, so you know I really like it. So once again, this person has super bright GFX. You need to find a font that isn't too thin because if it's already a bright color and then you're using a thin font, it's really hard to see what you're looking at. The render should be moved up higher. I need... <sighs> The render should be moved up higher and you need to work on the lighting. The pose could do some work too. You can barely see any of the legs. Then this giant blob is covering like a big part of the GFX. Just work on making stuff less bright, posing, lighting, etc. Now last but certainly not least, this GFX by Tammy. So the person's skin turned orange, I'm not sure how, but it happened. Um, so I'd work on making it not orange. And the render has a little black like drop shadow or duplicate. So, it kind of looks weird. If you lower the opacity, maybe, it'd look better. The text is 3D, and you know me, I don't like 3D text. So, just work on normal text with a lot of effects, maybe. Pose isn't too bad, just work on the main other stuff. And that's about it. Once again, remember to join the Discord server, because not only is there a huge giveaway going on, but you can finally advertise your servers that have GFX-related concepts, and you can also advertise your prices right over here on this new area, GFX Artists. For example, Ben over here. I'm gonna add your commission sheets and even more. Also, thank you so much for the support on my second channel. I'm gonna make more videos soon and it won't be crappy thumbnails. I was rushing that because I had like a really low amount of time. More videos will be out soon, so stay tuned. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.